And welcome everybody here on Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Turbo Watcher. We are playing a deck that's built around um, making the Watcher and making the Watcher as consistently and as fast as possible. So I'm sure y'all have been playing against Lissandra Trundle decks, um, you know, here recently. We still have like some control elements, but we're not as focused on control as a lot of the other decks are. We are going to be like, we really want... You know, turn eight, Spectral Matron. We want our Ice Pillar, Spectral Matron, Watcher right there on a turn eight in this deck. So we're going to be playing all three Fading Memories, all three Spectral Matrons, all three Babbling Bjergs to be able to draw Spectral Matron. We're going to have uh, three Catalysts to help speed us up. So, you know, it can be even a turn earlier. And we're even going to be playing three Entreat to be able to make sure that we find our Lissandras and Trundles because you got to have your champions. You know, you got to have your um trundle to make ice pillars and you got to have your lissandra to um create the watcher you can do it with um if you just you don't you don't technically need the trundle the ice pillar but obviously you got to have lissandra uh, but like if if you can have like two spectral matrons in hand which is why we're, we're playing three bjerg and three matron because if, if you have multiple spectral matrons in hand then turn eight you can have um, one matron put in another matron and then that's two eight drops and that levels up your Lissandra and gives you the watcher and then like the turn nine then you can have your second matron that you already had in hand have that put in the watcher and you know then you're good to go from there all right so that's going to be our deck it's going to be turbo watcher um ramping into uh, uh trying to have the most consistent watcher deck that we can so don't have all the control elements as we have some control elements, but not all the normal control elements, but much more combo elements. All right, so here we go. Turbo Watcher. Let's go play our five games in ranked. Ooh, playing some burn. So normally, if we had our more control elements, that would be a lot better against burn. But we're not stopping aggro as much. Let's keep... I want to keep Fading Memories. I'm like always happy with fading memories. Okay, predictions are started. This, yeah, this is your least favorite deck to play against in ranked. Makes sense. I, I always have a very, very low win rate against this deck because I, I usually play, um, I like playing mid range decks, and this deck just combos over the top of mid range decks. It just, this is, this is probably the deck I have the lowest win rate against. And this is the deck in the seasonal tournament I'll be banning every single time. The party has arrived. It's Draven, the glorious executioner. Warm hearts and hot soup. The finest battle caster in Noxus steps up. Ready the torches. So we'll see if they use the Spinning Axe to grow the Battlecaster or not. Yeah, not the best hand for us. No Avalanche, no Time for the money Champion. Oh, there we go. Champion. Hopefully Lissandra. All right, so this is going to help my Withering Whale take out the other two. Let's do this. That was a really good draw there, that, that Blighter Ravine. Good sequence for us. Okay, I'm gonna cast the Entreat. Looks like we got a Trundle. Keeping, you know, just passing here to see what they do with as far as having the box. There 
They're rifling through the decks. I do want to kill a Jinx if they have a Jinx. I do want to kill that right away. Just you and me, Fishbone. And then... Hopefully kill it. Nope. I'll give you to the counter. Try to kill it. <laughs> Anything else? <laughs> okay, cool. If they would have played something first, I would have played, you know, Trundle and you know, maybe blocked with Flash Freeze back up, but... Ice to meet you. Ah. I don't have Lissandra, so I can't make the Watcher right now. I don't really have anything. They're out there. I'll spot them. Don't have anything to Spectral Matron right now. We have drawn a, a good amount of our spells for our deck. Look out for reavers. Is it just flash freeze? Jinx is the scarier card. Okay, that will do. cards. Alright, we got the mirror match. So I like that we have so many combo elements for the mirror match because you don't want the you don't need the control cards. So let's get rid of that, get rid of that. Bjerg oh, we found another matron. I was gonna say Bjerg will find matron for us. But then we just drew another matron. Alright, there's Lissandra. So I want like Catalyst of Aeons. And fading memories. There's fading memories. So now we just basically just want catalyst of aeons. They have catalyst of aeons. That must be nice. Let's see what we get here. Okay, another Lissandra. I will bury the world in ice. Frost gather. What was given can be taken away just as easily. All right, so taking more cards out of our deck that are not Catalyst of Aeons. Because they have, they have the attack token on the odd turn, so now with them having the Catalyst means that they get the attack token on turn 7. That's just really bad for us. The trolls are going to war! At my command. Tougher than a troll. Okay. I cleared up a board space. <laughs> Catalyst is one turn to uh, one turn too late. They haven't played Lissandra yet, though, so they won't get the Watcher.
I don't want to play a new Lissandra and get another Frozen Thrall. Is it even worth playing Catalyst right now? King of Trolls coming through. A dark cloud looms on the horizon. You will do as I command. I'm gonna make a you sickle. <laughs> One troll to rule them all. Yes, let's hope. Let's hope they don't just kill my Lissandra right here. Good. Because that, that would have been kind of messy if they would have. Yeah, I guess this this thrall is in the way, isn't it? No, if, if we if we mate if we go so if we go matron watcher, it won't it won't count. There's not a better thing to do though. So that's still just three out of four. Yeah, I can I can attack and then get pillar, but it doesn't getting watcher post combat doesn't matter. Like yeah, I, I could have had like my pillars die and then and put the watcher into play post combat, but like. We need to be able to attack with Watcher, so like I, d I don't want to do that. I don't want to have like my Watcher just in play both turns, like while they can, you know, let them ruination and vengeance and all that kind of stuff. Okay, so do I kill their Trundle? I think the answer is no. Do I kill their Lissandra? The answer is maybe. Come on, come on. But probably not. Hey, Osman. Embrace the cold. I'm gonna make a you sickle. <laughs> Bow to your king. This is such a weird mirror with the how you run out of space. That's so weird. Embrace the cold. We're gonna burn the top card of our deck. You think we win now? Why do you think we win? Yeah, we can try. We only have you only get one watcher. So if we if we just like play matron and then cast watcher and then they vengeance or entomb or you know like you only get the one watcher i don't think that's the thing to do i now understand why people play a glimpse beyond in this deck pass the turn that's true we can kill the pillar i thought about killing lissandra but i thought about killing lissandra but then i was like well we want this entomb but killing pillar makes a lot more sense. Freeze. If I just pass like, they kill me. Like, I can't just pass. We die. To the Trundles attacking. I have to play... Something. Come on, come on! And so I guess that something's a Spectral Matron. Is 
Telling my opponent I have another Lissandra. Yeah. Alright, weird weird mirror. You don't know what you no, I had a I had a Lissandra in hand, not an Entomb. But they, they got rid of my Lissandra, so I wasn't it wasn't gonna be Entomb. Once once they entombed my Lissandra, then I didn't have Entomb anymore. Alright, wait, what are we playing against? Alright, the Elise deck. We need the box and avalanche. Yeah, we lost. Sorry, one and one. Yeah, that was a crazy mirror. First time playing it, but seeing how that works out. I know what lurks in the shadows. That was interesting, a very interesting game. Definitely got all sorts of control stuff this time. Which is exactly what we want. No Withering Whale available to play this turn. You won't suffer long. The Blighted Ravine and the box work well together, because the Ravine's like, okay, well now I don't want to play anything, so then they wait till like the next turn where they play a whole bunch of stuff, and then you have the box for now they play all this other stuff. So those two really work well together. Come closer. I don't bite. Still at twelve. There's nothing to fear. Well, I guess why play another champion if you just draw every copy of <laughs> of the first one? Guess you don't need another. Down to ten. Nothing escapes my watch. Safeguard our homes. Two cards in hand. A dark cloud looms on the horizon. Who's my favorite? It is you. Yes. Okay. So getting Elise out of here. Not the best play against Frenzied Skitter, but you know they only had the two cards in hand. Alright, the precious pump. Was Frenzied Skitter.
All right, so down to six. <laughs> Not a play we're going to do too often. But we'll get some card drawing. Because now it's just kind of about attacking. We didn't get to do any cool watcher stuff this game. We had our... We were all on the defensive. Light the signal fire. So doing this gave me the, the tough nexus. It's not the best play for getting the watcher as early as possible, but I think that's I think we're gonna be fine. And opponent thinks we're gonna be fine as well. Two and one. Their death serves greater purpose. Okay, Vimer. Vimer with Targon. Targon does do a very good job of shutting down the Watcher with different cards. I'm going to mulligan. I want my combo stuff. Because they're, they're going to have Celestial stuff. So they'll have Equinox and Obliterate and that kind of stuff. Get him, Bailey. Bailey's one of my favorite Guardians. <laughs> that dance. So good. Flesh was weak, but look at me now. And that laser. Uh, let's see. Safety disengaged. So yeah, so basically you don't really want your Lissandra to die because like the having the leveled up Lissandra to get the watcher is really important. So it so some people won't play Lissandra on three if they're worried about uh, their Lissandra dying. I got backup Lissandra, so I'm not as worried about that. Because, yeah. I... Some people can definitely be worried about that. Lissandra dying before you get the Watcher. Not surprised they didn't attack, so I'm gonna attack. Kind of puts them in a weird spot. That's pretty cool. Take two. All right, so we got all three Lissandras and two Trundles. Now we don't have to worry about drawing our champions too much anymore. My opponent's going to play Vi this turn. Over Enforcer on the scene. Called it. Enforcer down. Progress. Shatter. There's Babbling Bjerg. We're just gonna die to two ballistic bots. A dark cloud looms on the horizon. They just do so much. You have two damage a turn. 
We're just gonna die to that. Can you improve perfection? Rise, metal brethren. Plans within plans. So ordinary. Ooh. All right, well, they called my bluff with the Lissandra attack. We are going to have to draw something that kills this ballistic bot. Good open attacks. System upgrade. That won't be it. All right, so I guess ballistic bot is better than champions. So I think if I just sit around, I'm just dying to those bots anyway, so I try to make something happen. <laughs> Ballistic bot's the champ, Victor's the follower. Kind of. Alright, Ezreal Gangplank. Keeping fading memories is probably super greedy. Yeah, that was probably super greedy, keeping fading memories. Fading Memories is really what can, like, turn our deck super turbo, though. Which that's what I was going for with the Catalyst, Fading. Yeah, I read the patch notes, yeah, so now Mimic can't copy itself anymore. That's a huge bummer. Oh, looks like we may just simply lose to Ballistic Bot again. And you can't pass there, because if you pass there, they pass back, you... You know, waste like your whole turn. That's that's pretty rough. Yeah, they changed Mimic, so now it can't copy itself anymore. So that's too bad. We don't get to do the cool Ezreal Mimic combo. We're so dead. Can you improve perfection? Welcome to the tipsy hour. Safety is engaged. Ballistic well, bot's too good. Too good. Ancient things trapped in the ice. Nothing a little steel can suit. <laughs> Yeah, so someone with this deck so they would nerf it. Unfortunately, we're just getting ballistic. We lost a mirror, and then we're just getting ballistic botted. Not much for me to do against ballistic bot. Yeah, now they just level up gangplank with it. Oh, I should have I should have done this first. I should have just played the Funsmith first. I know it's, yeah, I should have played that Funsmith first. I should have done that. Let's get to it. Time to get rich. Wow, no attack with Gangplank. It's a surprise. Let's talk about your dad.
It's just so much damage. Can you improve perfection? Join me if you want to live. Give me a weapon, I'll give it firepower. Down to two. Should have done the previous turn, but they would have been very ready for it. All right, so just struggled against the direct damage there of Ballistic Bot. Uh, those last two games, um, you know, like we took, I think, close to 10 damage from the Ballistic Bots both games, and then it's just too much. Too much direct damage for us, especially how we're not really playing the control version, right? Like those kind of matchups, you really need the control version, not the combo version. So didn't get to play against any mid-range decks, which is really where our deck can shine against all the mid-range decks. Is just, I mean, I guess that one's kind of a mid-range deck where we just played against, but they're, you know, like with all the direct damage. So these last two decks, so, I mean, same thing with the Shreem of Vimer, though. Like just Nexus damage has, <laughs> Nexus damage or, or Watcher, all six of my last six losses. I don't remember what we played against with the Jarvan Hunters, but the last two decks, all six losses were either Watcher or... Nexus damage based decks. So that's kind of frustrating. I haven't like <laughs> played against like just honest decks trying to like just do normal attack stuff in forever. But oh well. All right, so there we go. That was Turbo Watcher. Um didn't have like any any like busted hand, right? Any of those games. We didn't really have a a busted hand type thing. Um but that's that's too bad. You know, like we never had like a you know you know, Catalyst, Lissandra, Trundle for turn three, four, five, like those three. Um, and then, you know, like turn seven, Spectral Matron go off. Did, didn't get to do anything like that. Or even a turn eight, Spectral Matron go off. Didn't get a turn seven or turn eight Watcher. Oh, well. All right. Uh, those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there. And of course, as always, feel free to leave those comments. Uh, let me know what you think of like the Turbo Watcher version here. Or if you like just like... Uh, more control cards in your deck, like with for Lissandra Trundle, more sweepers and removal and, and that kind of stuff. Um, but anyway, that's all I got here for this one. So thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.